Yo, peace world. It's the love king of R&B, Raheem Devon. And this is the Q Chat. Keep it locked right here. Uh-huh. Has me. She's a queen. This is dedicated to all my beautiful queens, all my beautiful ladies out there. She's a queen. Good queen. You got it, girl. She's a queen. You better represent. Good queen. Good queen. Go. She's a queen about a business. Queen. Working hard on a mission. So thank you guys for joining another episode of The Key Chat. Today, my special guest is the Detroit native, the musical artist, Mr. J. Brown. And he has an upcoming album coming out called Chapter and Verse. And right now, you guys have probably already heard, he has a hot new single out with Legend Tank called Don't Rush. So I just want to chat it up with him and get some perspective on music and, of course, self-love. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm good, my sister. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you again so much for joining the platform. So like I said, you got this hot new single out now with Tank. I mean, Tank is an absolute legend. Can you tell us how that experience was working with him? Oh, it was phenomenal. You know, to work with a person who, who I consider uh, the best male R&B singer, in my opinion, mm. and, um, which, hey, you can argue all you want to or debate, but it's the truth. And um, not only is he the best R&B singer, but he's my idol. So I've idolized mm. Tank since I was in sixth grade. So the fact that, you know, I was able to work with him, and this isn't my first time working with him. I worked with him uh, maybe 14 years ago. With, okay. a, with a previous record deal I had. Yeah, and fast forward, 2021, uh, we reunited. We both were on a tour with Anthony Hamilton and uh, saw each other in passing. And then from there, it was just like we never lost a beat, you know? Uh, and then we, back, we got back in the studio, flew out to his house, and we recorded. And uh, that was that. That's great. I hear the single Don't Rush all the time on the radio. Like, how did you guys come up with that single? Who wrote it? Like, what was the background in getting that single together? Um, so it was a collaborative effort, but mainly Tank and a guy by the name of T-Verse. Uh, pretty, pretty dope. Uh, which is my frat brother, T-Verse. Pretty dope guy. Um, you know, we just had a vibe going, you know. We all were at Tank's house. And of course, you know, you always want to do something dedicated to the ladies. You know, so what right. better way to do it? Then talk about something that we're all passionate about in some sense, which is making love to that special lady. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and of course, you don't want to rush when it comes to that. You want to passionately and, and gently, uh, you know, go about your business with, with your woman. <laughs> God, God, so, uh, shit. so that's the that's, that was the main, you know, uh, uh, focus uh, in terms of uh, the creative process. Well, it's a great single. It really is. And Tank, you're right. He is a legend. I personally feel he's underrated. Like, his voice is amazing. He's so talented. So I, I'm talented. just happy. Oh, yeah. He is an absolute R&B legend. So one of the quotes that I read when I was looking at the information was, let's get back to the real love and the music that really matters and means something. So what's your your motivation, I guess. Like like I said, we just talked about Tank, and one thing about Tank, he dedicates a lot of his music to the ladies. He's a true musician, and he writes love songs. And I know right now with R&B, a lot of us want to go back to just hearing those good old love songs like we're used to. So what's your perspective on getting back to the real love and the music that really matters and means something? Well, you know, I think it's, I, I definitely is coming back. And, and in order for everyone to get back to that point, you have to start loving yourself, you know? So that's where it starts. Love yourself, because who better than love than yourself? And if you can't love yourself, you can't love anyone else. So, I mean, that's where it starts. But I think we're at a good point right now. We have a lot of young R&B artists, such as myself, coming out, uh, doing, doing their thing and bringing, bringing back that feel-good music. 
So I think we're headed in the right direction, although we need we need radio to get behind it, you know? Because right now it's oversaturated with rap. I can't even consider it rap, to be honest with you, but you know, the rap that you and I grew up on, the real rap, that was poetic, made sense, you know? Nowadays, it's just a bunch of screaming and auto-tune. But in terms of all, um, R&B, I think it's, it's finally making a comeback. Mm. Well, you know, you just hit something, two special things, which I'm going to get back to self-love later because that's actually my platform I'm talking about self-love. So thank you for mentioning that. And another thing that I agree with is when you mentioned was currently on the radio. So I've mentioned this a lot of times to a lot of the musicians that I interviewed so much to the point that I'm like, maybe I should stop asking the same thing, but I can't help it because it's just a fact. Like you mentioned, currently on the radio things tend to sound the same, you know, it's like everything is just a marketing thing where it's just, a, I don't know, like a warehouse, everything's pushed out like the same type of single. So have you faced any challenges being different and going back to the traditional R&B and having a unique sound? Have you faced any challenges trying to do something that's different than a typical radio heavy hit? Honestly, I've, I've faced a few obstacles because again, you know, Going back to this 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 newer version of rap, it, it's it's radios. A lot of radio stations, not all, but a lot, majority of them, they only want to play. That's the main thing to play, you know, like to do. Uh, I mean, that's the main thing on their to do list is to play those types of records, considering the popularity. You know, so it's been really hard, you know, trying to get back involved in in the music that matters. Uh, um, you know, well, I don't want to say the music that matters. Well, no, I'm going to say that. The music that matters, the music of substance, because it, it's no longer selling like it, it used to. You know, nowadays, uh, it's almost about, if you think about it, you turn your radio right now, all you hear is pretty much tons of uh, hip-hop records. And right. when, you have so, when you have so many of those that are being played on a constant basis, it puts people like myself on the back burner because mm -hmm. it just, in terms of the popularity, you know? So it's kind of like they go with what's popular and what, and what the kids want to listen to. But they don't really, I mean, are they really doing the justice? If you ask me, they're doing the injustice to these kids because you're taking away the love aspect, you know, that everyone should, you know, I mean, I guess kind of have some sort of, I don't know what to refer to it as, but I mean, I think at some point in everyone's lives, some people will fall in love. And if you have the radio constantly playing the same stuff over and over again, I mean, at some point, love will be lost. So you need yeah. people like R&B people to bring it back to the forefront to have that balance. But right now, it's just like there is no balance. It's mostly just a bunch of hip hop. So it's, just, it's been a challenge, you know, honestly. And, and not only myself, a lot of other R&B artists can attest to this. But I think, like I said, we're, we're headed in the right direction as long as radio and all these, these people in power give it a shot again. Because, again, I think it's something that, that deserves to be uh, back at the forefront, honestly speaking. I agree. I agree with everything you said, for sure. You know, I grew up in a time where R&B was just naturally very heavy in addition to other music, you know, like in the 80s and 90s there was, a, a, I think, a fair balance mix. You know, you can hear, even when hip-hop and rap was starting to come about, you can sit on the radio and hear a good balance of both. But now I just feel like it's caused some problems for the true R&B singers to get their songs on the radio and to introduce that sound to the newer generation because I don't think they're really aware, you know, of current R&B unless they hear maybe, like, a sample, you know, or a hook that somebody took from a song back in the day. And a lot of times they don't even realize, you know, that these are classic hits, you know? So I, I do agree. And I, I, I think it's unfortunate that there's some certain obstacles and barriers, you know, for the real singers, the R&B singers, because we definitely need love songs, no matter what, no matter what state that we're in, there should be a, a heavier airplay of love songs for sure.
couple of songs for sure. So Absolutely. I know, and we, we got to bring it back. So that's why it's important to have singers like yourself, Tank and all the others, you know, that really stick with true R&B. There's definitely a place for you guys. So I commend you all for the old heads like myself and just people who really love music. There'll always be a place I feel for R&B, but I definitely feel like the younger people should be introduced to it. But it's just definitely not on, you know, the, the radio stations like it should be. So right. I know that you did a debut album that you released on May 20th called Chapter and Verse. So can you tell yes. us about that? Um, the singles, like what can, what, you know, just tell us what type of vibe we'll get, you know, just by tuning in and listening to that whole album. Yeah, so my new uh, album entitled Chapter and Verse is now available on all platforms. It's uh, pretty much the, the, the same type of um, R&B that I grew up on. Because, you know, I, that's, that's always been near and dear to my heart, and not to sound cliche, but that's what inspired me. So mm -hmm. what better way to create an album than to go back to what inspires you to even start singing? So, you know, it's just a lot of feel-good music. I would say old-school style, and I hate to even use that term. But I guess it is kind of old school, but the stuff that I grew up on, early 2000s, you know, late 90s, you know, it's just that fused with a modern sound. Uh, but it, it's kind of giving you the best of both worlds because not only are you getting what the young kids like in a sense, but you're getting what people like myself really enjoy listening to, which is kind of like, like I said, no, no longer that popular, but it's coming back, not to sound redundant, right. but it's, uh, it's just a lot of good relatable things that I think a lot of people can, uh, well, should appreciate, <laughs> you, you know, um, for those who are into love and into real singing and into uh, songs of substance, this is definitely right. the album for you. And um, it, it's, it's definitely something that, I, well, in my opinion, again, <laughs> this is something that people will have on repeat, which people have already told me they've been planning, you know, like all week last week and you know even today i received a, a, a load of uh dm stating that you know i didn't listen to your album since it dropped so it's definitely one of those albums that can give you a little bit of something for everyone you know so or a lot of bit of everything so uh, it's just something that's great to listen to and i hope people gravitate towards it and download it and stream it because again it's available on all downloadable platforms and yeah it's good stuff <laughs> Awesome, because we definitely need to go back to the albums that had no skips. You know, back in the day, you can just throw on albums and it was, it was no skips. You know, like yeah, from, no skips whatsoever. Yeah, right. So this is definitely going to be up with the no skips. So I know you also have a single called Simpin. So again, you have mentioned how with your love songs, how they seem like they cater not only to love, but they're also catering to the ladies. So can you tell everybody about that single Simpin? Yeah, so going back to my point in terms of fusing that modern sound with that old school sound, so Simpin would be one of those songs that would give, like, the younger kids what they like to listen to, you know? Simpin is basically a guy, or the term Simpin comes from a person who's just doing too much for someone who may or may not be that into that person. So, you know, you're giving your all, you're giving your all, not really sure if this person is actually feeling the same thing, uh, because at times, obviously, it may or may not be reciprocated. So everything's in question, but it's just a guy who's doing too much. And um, that's basically the, uh, the entire song, just kind of giving you like a timeline of, of, of events of how I met this girl and uh, um, where our current state is in terms of the current state of our relationship and um, how that is actually unfolding. Um, not so positively, obviously, but <laughs> it's still a song that, I think people will will like because it's relatable. And again, mm -hmm. like I said, like I stated, a lot of songs on that album, they're relatable. And this song in particular has a more up tempo beat. And I think mm -hmm. it's something club like, uh, something you can definitely bump in your car, something you can catch a really good vibe to. So uh, I encourage people to you know check out the video as well. It's on YouTube and download it because it is a single as well outside of the album. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much, uh, pretty much how it came about the turn and everything. Okay. 
Are there any artists that you have on your wish list that you want to collaborate in the future? Um, yeah, that's quite a few. But to kind of like sum it up, I would say Babyface, uh, Jasmine Sullivan, Mary J. Blige, Raheem Devine. Shout out to my brother. That's my big bro. Um, I love him. I interview him. I always mention that. Not because, because that's like one of my favorite singers. So that's why I always have to throw that out. Yeah, <laughs> that's my bro. I just got the phone with him like two hours ago. We were on the phone for like an hour and a half. But anyway, yeah, Raheem, that's coming for sure. Because I'll be in the studio with him like next month. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. It's quite a few people. I can't name everyone. Oh, Jaheem. That's my boy. A lot of mm -hmm. people seem to forget, have forgotten about Ja. I used to be signed mm -hmm. to Ja. Ja is still doing his thing. So for those who are wondering, he's working on stuff. But um, yeah, I'm definitely going to get back in the lab with him. And White Clef John. Spoke with him oh. the other day, both him and his sister. So shout out to Clef and Melky. We're going to set something up. That was my old boss as well. So oh, wow. back, going to get back in the studio with Clef. Um, yeah, just a lot of people. You know, mm -hmm. people who I've known for a while or some people who I kind of just met, but we're really cool now. So, yeah, it's going to be a few surprises. But hopefully, with some of those people I mentioned, hopefully I get to work with them. Some of them that I mentioned, I'm definitely working with them. So I'm just praying that I, God places me with the right people at the right time and that we come out with something successful. Awesome. Well, you definitely got a good list going. And, you know, it's funny how you mentioned Raheem Devine and even Jaheem, you mentioned people again who have some serious love songs that will never go out of style. Like, I can listen to you and Guess Who Loves You More and so many other, his, yep. many other his singles that he has. Like, it just was released yesterday, you know, like, and that is true R&B songs because they become time, you know, and I just wish that, you know, we we definitely, like I said, we need more artists like yourself who has that mind frame. You know, they come out with these great songs that will never go out of style. And I know, like, a lot of times people want that radio hit, and I get it. But you can never go wrong, in my opinion, with, like, a true love song. Like, it really For will real. never go out of style. I agree. Exactly. That's what matters. People people need that. They crave that. You know, like I said, a radio mm -hmm. hit is a radio hit. But in terms of timeless music, music that people can sit and think and get Whatever they have to do to kind of get them through that moment, reflective thinking, that's what I like to refer to it as. Music will take you there, especially the right song. So right. that's that's what I'm trying to, you know, recreate. And um, yeah, I think it's happening. But at the end of the day, it's going to take the people. It's going to take radio. People to come mm -hmm. back to the, to the drawing board and say, listen, this is the kind of stuff that we need, especially when it comes to the children and their futures. Like music has shifted everything. And there's a lot of horrible music out here. And it's no it's no shade against any artist, you know, but there's a lot of horrible music out here. And it's gotten to the point where it's all about money. And that's unfortunate, you know, but that's the name of the business, right? Right. But per prayerfully it comes back to where where it once uh made sense in terms of R and B. Right, because it's definitely unfortunate because I think when a drive is money, you lose the artship and the musicianship. You know, that's when you're just manufacturing songs instead of making classics. Or, you know, music is something that reaches the soul. You know, it really touches your heart. But when you let the money get involved, that's when you just start regurgitating things that really don't make a difference. You know, so exactly. That's me, you know, like I said, when you talk to people and you feel when people really have that love of music, it's just a whole different conversation. So, exactly. So I know you did touch on, you did touch on when we first started chatting about self-love. So one thing about the Q Chat, our platform is self-love. Self-love is really important. And one thing about music, just R&B, love songs in general, it just makes you feel good. And mention too how can you love anybody if you don't love yourself so what is your perspective on how you personally define self-love and what role has self-love played in your life and also played in your life you know as a musician because like I said you're doing something important you're making those love songs to remind people to not only love one another but to love themselves so what role has self-love played in your life self-love has played a major role in my life in terms of everything 
in terms of how I interact with my children, how I treat my children, how I treat my my loved ones, my friends, you know, uh, it's it's the one thing that keeps me going. Uh, it, it drives me, you know, it motivates me, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, self-love is is, is, is is one of those things that I believe a lot of people, if they were to practice it on a continuous basis, you'll see a lot of success, you know, in terms of everything that, that entails anything that's, like, positive, you know, like, like anything positive for me has has always not only motivated me to continue down that path, but in order for me to continue down the path of success or positivity, I have to make sure I'm taking care of myself. So, I mean, th- that entails going to the gym, praying, fasting, you know, whatever you have to do to take care of your personal space, your personal life, your personal whatever do it because those things are so essential to the point where they not only can help build you, but if you lack in those areas, they can definitely put you at a standstill. And uh, a lot of people right now, you know, I don't think a lot of people really know how to love themselves. Uh, considering the state of the world right now, there's so much going on. But I, I encourage those, the ones who do know how, and even if you don't, research. Uh, reach out to friends. I'm sure you have friends who practice self-love because it is important. I and mean, even even for myself, like I said, like it, it's something that keeps me going every day. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Does that answer your question? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, thank you for that. Self-love is super important. So before we end everything, like I said, this has been a great conversation. What can we expect next from you? Are you going to be going on tour, hitting a road? What's next for Mr. J. Brown? Yeah, in terms of my career, uh, what's next is a lot of shows, tours, um, and just promote my album. You know, um, I also I'm, um, I'm doing a record with Carl Thomas soon, so that's one of my one of my idols as well. Um, so mm-hmm. just working a lot, man. Working with a lot of people that I really really admire. And um, just stay tuned, you know, and for you guys to like to, to receive any type of updates, you can just follow me uh, on social media and all, all of my platforms uh, have the tag J Brown Music Only. So that's TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, just the letter J, my last name, Brown Music Only. And uh, follow me. I'll definitely follow you back. Let's, let's keep uplifting each other, keeping each other encouraged. And, and uh, yeah, let's support each other because I definitely will support you. So make sure you follow me and check out my new album. Download it, stream it, chapter and verse, and my new singles, Don't Rush Featuring Tank and Simping, available on all downloadable platforms. Yes. yes. Uh, thank you so much for this interview. Like I said, I really always enjoy just connecting and talking to different musicians, even though my platform is about self-love. Music is a huge part of loving ourselves because I feel like when you turn on the right single, listen to the right album, like I said, it does not only remind you to love yourself, but it does definitely importantly reminds us to love one another. And that's something that with everything going on right now, there can never be enough reminders to tell us to love one another. Absolutely. I agree. And I want to say thank you for having me on your platform. I think it's something great. I think it's something that's, that's definitely, uh, needed you know especially the times that we're living in so i just want to say you keep doing what you're doing queen and keep uh staying encouraged and and and, and just say hey, keep all positive people around you <laughs> thank you so much and you guys heard it that's jay brown and i know you told everybody how to find you on social media do you have any websites or anything they can find you on as well because yeah. i want to make sure yeah. everybody can connect yeah my website is www dot jbrownmusiconly.com okay perfect so thank you so much everybody please make sure you guys check out download that new album chapter and verse please make sure to check out those new singles simping and don't rush with tank thank you again mr j brown i wish you much success with this new album and just like i said thank you for just contributing and reminding us about those good music so like i said rmb will never die like yourself and, and some of these other great legends that you've been in this conversation as long as y'all keep doing what y'all doing and sticking 
everything, like we'll always have great music that will never die and will always be classic. So thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah,